Hello and welcome back to Ali at Dunduk Studio. I hope you've seen my previous videos. Maybe that's a question for you that how we can make money from Google Play or App Store. You may think that we put a premium game in the stores. Although it's easy, but you get a few app installs. I have a better choice for monetization and that's AdMob. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement AdMob ads in the game in a few minutes. Let's do it. Okay, as you can see, the circle loadings are gone. I'm going to touch on show interstitial ad. Very good. Let's touch show banner ad and hide it. Okay, show rewarded ad. After a few seconds, I'm going to hit close and I'm going to get some coins. Let's see it in Construct 3. All right, as you can see, I have this template here. I uh, created these two plugins at first. First one is Mobile AdWork, and we use this plugin for everything related to AdMob ads. And as you can see, we have these values here uh, that I got from this website developers.google.com slash AdMob, and you can go here and get your own uh, Android, iOS, or Publisher ID, and of course, uh, I created these uh, variables, these string variables for interstitial, banner, or video, or rewarded video IDs, and I used these uh, variables in here. These are uh, every ID we have here is for testing that I got from uh, developers at Google. Okay. Now, as you can see, I uh, said whenever we started the layout and when we are on iOS or Android, uh, then create three kind of ad mob ads. Okay. First one is banner ID that uh, you can paste your ID here or you can change this value here and uh, change your banner size uh, if you need it and position for uh, showing the banner on top or button and I set this to false because I don't want to show the ad after loading the banner ID at a startup layout okay then we have uh, this action here interstitial ID you can change it to interstitial video ID if you want and this one uses rewarded video ID all right we have a function here, show ads, and uh, we call this function whenever we uh, click on uh, these buttons. And here when I click on show interstitial ad, I call show ads type of interstitial. You can use this function in your game and just change the type to uh, banner interstitial or reward it, okay? After showing ad, after a few moments, I create another uh, interstitial ID. And uh, for banner, I used uh, this for showing or hiding banner and then creating a new banner ad. Okay, and same for show rewarded. And uh, we have a we have a event here. We use for uh, getting reward after uh, watching rewarded video so whenever rewarded video completed uh, we watch this uh, completely we get some coins as you can see in the demo that i show you so uh, you can use this uh, in your game and get your rewards and we have these uh, group here that we use for showing or hiding loading circles and of course printing some details uh, in uh, in this text okay that's the template stay tuned for my next video comment on any idea you have for construct 3's tutorials and don't forget to like and subscribe see ya